What is up guys? Hope you had a fantastic weekend. France won the World Cup and Croatia played pretty good. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll be back in four years. Today we're going to continue with uh, game development. Shell is open um, GDevelop 5. I should mention that there is a new version and uh, you should probably download it. So let's uh, create a new project. Uh, today we're going to um, work with a grid. We're going to move an object in a grid and uh, we are not going to use any of the uh, default movements. So we are going to start a um, empty template. Uh, events. Okay, we have no events. Can we just add an event? This weekend. All right. So now we have events. Let's begin by creating an object. It's going to be a sprite and uh, we're going to edit this with Pascal. The path pixel art editor on the whole planet. Uh, we're going to start this at uh, 32 by 32. Maximize this here. The, I'm not really concerned about the, the graphic. Okay, so I'm simply going to um, fill this with any color. Wow, that's hard on the eyes. Holy macro, maybe because it's so early in the morning. I'm not fully awake yet. So it seems like 32 by 32. Does, let me just double check here. Yeah, this is a uh, 64 by 64. Let me make this a uh, 32 by 32. There we go. That's more like it. And uh, that's fine there color in the middle to be bright and that's too dark or too pale so the outer rim needs to be darker and much better let's uh, save this save to gdevelop apply and uh, notice that we are not going to add a uh, default movement so let me just rename this let's call it a uh, box so simple we need a uh, background tile spray background and uh, we are going to do the same thing we're going to fill this with the opposite color of uh, green which should be somewhere around purple don't make, it, don't make it too bright and again this is 64 by 64 so this would be 32 by 32 I believe there is a way to uh, set this 32 by 32 as your default size I'm pretty sure I've seen it um, okay if you find it let me know down in the comments there we go shape it to um, G develop and uh, we are going to maybe name this something else I call it a uh, lay background and uh, maybe we should enable the grid which is also 32 by 32 by the way there we go uh, let's place our box here place it uh, yeah I guess anywhere and if you run this and you try to move you will notice that nothing happens bring this out here a little bit more so let's go to um, events and uh, we already have an other condition here let's go to the keyboard and if we release a key say for example uh, the right key we want to move our object um, to the two pixels position uh, x position or box we want to um, add 32 oops not 21 32 to the X position that should uh, move our object 32 pixels uh, to the right and uh, if you want the opposite all you have to do is um, copy this change this for left and uh, we are going to add uh, Subtract 32 pixels. There you go. You could even add a sound if you wanted to. Okay, which is not hard to do. Now let's do the open down. Again, we're going to, um, <coughs> excuse me, copy this, paste it, and um, we're going to change this for up. We will change this for, um, <coughs> excuse me, don't know what's wrong with my throat today. Uh, we're going to change this for uh, Y. We want to subtract uh, 32 as well. And we're going to copy this one more time and change it for the uh, down direction. Press down. There you go. And uh, instead of uh, subtracting, we, go we are going to add. There we go. Up is up and down is down. Now if the Y becomes confusing for you, let me just uh, open um, a myth paint here. 
All right, so here is the Cartesian plane, and uh, you have your Y up and down, and you have your X um, sideways or diagonally. Okay, so you want to move uh, to the right, you have to add to the X. If you want to move up, uh, you have to um, add to the Y. But uh, it's actually inverted in um, in most game engines, so instead of adding, you subtract to the uh, to the Y, and that's why uh, you have to uh, subtract instead of um, add for the up and down, which is kind of stupid. That's how it works. Okay, so if you get to the edge, you notice that you can uh, actually get out, and that's not what you want. You want to be able to uh, stop our uh, character from uh, leaving the play area. So, let me uh, bring out a text. Add a new object. We're going to add a uh, text object. Make this at uh, 25. And make this uh, purple, of course. Wait, that's already purple there. Uh, let me, let's make it uh, light blue. Baby blue. That's an aqua. So apply this, and uh, we are going to bring out our text. That's our text. I think it should be a little bigger, just for this example. Make this uh, 50, so you guys can see it. There you go. So we are going to uh, display um, our uh, variable there. Let's call this uh, let text. Now we want to display the x and y position of this object here. Yeah. So to do that, we can uh, probably add a variable to our box. Oops, did I click on the right button? Object variables, I was right. Uh, let's call this, um, what can we call it? Just call it HH, just just for giggles. Okay, let's go over here. Add a new condition. Don't add a uh, condition, just add an action. We want to set that variable. The box variable. HH, we want to set it equals um the exposition of our character or the box go to uh common expressions the position exposition of box now you get this red um um warning there just ignore that let me um add another condition and um, also don't add a condition again let me uh, change the text I think you can do it in the same line there but I'm doing it in two lines there uh, text object we want to change the uh, text let text and you want to set it equals uh, that variable okay so let's go to uh, go to our uh, common expressions uh, variables object variables box and it's gonna be HH and just ignore the um, the red text there now if you run this you can see that, that now we can display the uh, current position of the um, of the box well at least on the X coordinate okay now you notice that when you get here this turns to zero so when we get to zero we are going to prevent our character from um, moving so we need to find the left which is the uh, minus add another condition I guess we can do it uh, based on position object position X position a box it has to be greater than zero okay so if we move you notice that once I get to zero I can no longer move we can do the same thing for um, the other side, just let me find out the number here, is uh, 832. So for the right, uh, the X position needs to be, <coughs> excuse me, uh, it needs to be less than 832. There you go. So let's do the same thing for the uh, up and down. Let me change this for the um, uh, for the Y position. Just change this uh, to Y. And now that will display our uh, Y position. Now for the uh, up, this needs to be 
uh, less than zero. Actually, greater than zero. Try it out. There we go. Now for the bottom, we are looking at uh, 576. And it has to be uh, lower than 5. Oops. 576. There we go. So that works fine. Okay, uh, this is probably a good time to uh, leave a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Don't forget that GDevelop is free and that uh, this allows you to export games to Android, iOS, Windows, and even Linux. Also, there is a bell next to the subscribe button. Click on the bell and you will be notified about new videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.